Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just going to skip the intro on this coffee chat today. This morning I'm feeling a little more introspective, and I've been thinking about a few things, and something that I've noticed that people have a terrible tendency to do in this fitness industry, and actually around the world, it's one of the most logical fallacies, and it's used in day-to-day -day life. But I do see it specifically happening in this industry oftentimes, and that is that people don't question authority enough. There is a massive appeal to authority. I see a lot of people who do give some very bad information, and oftentimes I think that they realize that it's bad information. People who have amazing credentials, oftentimes people who have very advanced degrees in either exercise science or nutrition who themselves have pretty good accomplishments and accolades, yet they give bad advice. And oftentimes when I look into the advice they're giving and look at what they do personally and financially, there's oftentimes a very clear financial bias behind why this bad advice is given. And I see it a lot, and I'm not even singling out one or two or three people. I can think of at least 10 off the top of my head. I'm not going to go into who they are. That's the thing with authority figures. And I guess for me, I have a slightly different outlook on some of these things and other people for a reason. A lot of the men who shaped, actually all of the men who shaped my outlook on life and taught me different life lessons as, as both growing up and as a young man were actually all war veterans, every single one of them. And the first time I had somebody actually explain to me authority figures in a negative light and how an authority figure who has all the credentials and the authority to tell you what to do may be giving bad advice and sometimes something needs to be done. It was a good friend of mine, actually a family friend. I consider him a friend, but he wasn't really a close friend of mine, but he was a very close friend of my family. And it was a gentleman by the name of Wilton. And he was talking to me about men of authority. And he went back telling a story about when he was in Vietnam. And he was a first sergeant of a platoon. And their previous second lieutenant who ran the platoon had died a few days before in a firefight who hadn't given the best of orders. And they assigned a new lieutenant and they told Wilton who he was because he was the first sergeant. He ran the platoon essentially for the second lieutenant and he was in charge of looking after the men and this second lieutenant had graduated from college which back then was a bigger deal than it is today he was educated had gone to the, then the war college and was a second lieutenant and when he got there he told Wilton that 0600 in the morning we are going to be storming this hill over here Wilton looked at it and told him that's a bad idea we're going to lose at least a minimum of, of half of the platoon if we do that. I don't think it's a good idea, sir. And he told him, well, I'm in charge and we will damn well storm that hill in the morning. Wilton told him, yes, sir. And I asked Wilton, what did you do? And he said, I had to stop and think about it. And I had to weigh out if I was going to let this man of authority give a bad order that was going to kill off all of those men that I had to look after. And he said, and I did the only thing that could be done. He said, when he was taking a shit in a latrine, I rolled a grenade under the door and walked off. And he said, and that's how you deal with a man of authority who is giving you bad advice and bad orders. And I can get away with telling that story now because Wilton has been dead for quite a few years and he's not going to get in any trouble for it. And yes, I consider Wilton to be a good man and I consider him to be a hero. So it goes back to the point of just because people have authority or they have experience doesn't mean that all the advice they're giving is good. And you guys need to step back and objectively look at that advice. It doesn't matter if it's me doesn't matter if it's somebody else on YouTube, somebody else who's a writer. You need to step back and look at what are their motivations for giving that advice. Is that advice 
well supported? Is that advice contradictory to what all the literature and the experience of other coaches and people out there shows? Is it contradictory? And if it is contradictory, why is it contradictory? Is there some motivation these people would have, some financial or personal motivation for them giving this piece of advice? And even if it does match with what the mainstream says, make sure that the mainstream stuff is right. Step back and look at it. Look back and see who it's working for, why. Go pull up a little bit of the information. Do a little digging. Do a little research. Question these things. And I know some people think that they are questioning me when they come in and they throw personal insults at me. I don't put up with that. If you want to question what I'm saying, ask an intelligent question and do so without insulting me or I just hit the ban button. I don't even bother to read what they wrote. They can write three pages and if they say, don't listen to this guy because he's a fat fuck, I just hit the ban button and their th three page diatribe gets deleted. And had they just asked the questions... I probably would have left it up for other people to see and answered it, which I usually do. But the thing is, always question these things. Don't just assume that because someone has an advanced degree or someone has been successful, that all the advice that they're giving you is true. Maybe it is just true for them and not true for everyone else. Or maybe they know it's not even true and they have a financial incentive. And the financial incentive one is something that I see over and over and over in this industry. And I see a lot of lies, knowing intentional lies being perpetrated purely for some form of financial gain. And for a lot of the younger people, you might not realize yet that is part of human nature. A lot of otherwise good men will tell lies to make sure that they get nice things for their family, that they can support their family. That's human nature, people. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.